Hey you guys, thanks for joining me today as I take you through this color process. So here is her before color. Um, it had been almost eight to nine months since we had done her hair and it grew out nice, but she definitely needed a retouch on her blonde. Lift and I'm going to do one scoop of the flash lift and I'm going to be doing 30 volume. This is Salon Centric's um, new packaging for their store's brand of 30 volume. And I don't know if they changed the consistency of it yet. It does seem creamier to me, but maybe that's just all in my head. We'll see though. Um, uh, I, I noticed that when I'm using their volume as it sits longer and after I've opened it, it tends to thicken up. Um, and I'm hoping that with this with this new bottle that I got that it doesn't do that because um, that would be nice. I don't like when it gets all thick because then it's hard for me to get out at the end of the bottle use. And I use a whisk to whisk that up really good. Bonder by Redken, the number one. And that's about two mil. And then I'm just gonna mix it up again and get to working my magic on her hair. And she, I am working with her natural color and then just doing bleach and then I'm going to tone it and root smudge it. Um, she is probably a level three to two. Um, so yeah, I think we'll get plenty of lift with the 30 volume um, and it's her natural color. So it should lift pretty evenly and consistently. So here in the back, I started off by doing hair painting and I used, I think this was a two, two and a half inch brush and I like using a better quality of brush. Um, I've used this brush over and over again and I don't, haven't had to throw it out yet. So it lasts longer than just using the chip brushes. I find after like two to three uses of doing that, um, I have to throw it out. And so I was back combing and then um, doing the hair painting on this back section. So on this second sec sectioning, I did a zigzag parting as you can see there in this angle and I just then applied the lightener with the paintbrush and kept going up until I met the crown area and that's where I started foiling. This is my back foiling and I just wanted to point out that I did do a thicker weave pattern because I wanted to show more dimension of dark um, in the back and then as we go towards the front it'll be lighter towards the front area. And then I did some more hair painting um, in between where the back foils were as well. Bye. 
So on the side there, I did um, a back combing on the, not on the hairline, but I'm trying to make sense of this. But um, on the back where you guys can see the hair painting sections, I did the same thing I did in the back. Um, I teased and then hair painted right there. And then I started foiling um, around her hairline to give her those brighter money pieces in the front. So here I'm showing you what I had mirrored on the other side. Um, I took the lightener and brought it up a little bit higher than I had on the back sectioning of doing the hair painting and back combing technique. Um, this I just wanted to play with all kinds of different techniques to see what I liked about all of them. So yeah, I really did hair painting, back combing, did the foiling, and different tonings so I'm just showing you how I did that all right here. And a lot of times I do use a board um, for my front bang area and I just feel like um, it keeps it off the forehead and keeps it smoother right there because sometimes it can be awkward to be doing that foil piece right there on their face so yeah a lot of times I'll do that um, and then with this foiling I just did um, took it all the way back like in a mohawk section So yay, today I have the root smudge footage for you guys. Um, I root smudged her with a 6N, 6NA color gels with 10 volume. And where I hit hair painted in this back section, it didn't lift as high as I was hoping for. So I just kind of toned it with the 6N, 6NA uh, color gels right there um, to because it was so dark, I knew that the toner I was going to be using all over wasn't going to cancel any of those tones out. And then yeah, I just move on to the root smudge and in the back section, I normally drag it down a little bit further. And then when I go towards the front, I just try to keep it um, like an inch blending into that area, but kind of like tearing down towards the back, if that makes sense.
just finishing up here towards her hairline, um, smudging that in, and then I'm going to start brushing it here in a minute, and I use the wet brush. It's just their detangling comb, and um, you can already see right here where the root smudge is toning her hair, and it's looking so good. I love seeing the process and it changed like right before my eyes. So the rest will be 9V. And then I actually got a tip from Pretty Little Ombre on Instagram. And she used um, Color Gel's 10th volume. And I've never done it. And this is the first time I'm going to do it. And I will show you guys what it looks like. So the reasoning behind doing 10 volume rather than using the Shades EQ processing solution is that you know how it grabs really dark when you use the processing solution and they have the crystal clear but then um, I don't know it's just different and so I picked up this tip to use the 10 volume so I tried it here and now I do it on almost all of my blonde toners because it just works so well it keeps the hair bright it keeps it from over saturating the hair to a darker color and um, I think it just keeps the tone softer it's just great it's changed the way I tone so thank you to pretty little ombre and if you guys haven't checked her out you should she's great she's got a lot of awesome tips that I have used and here we are here's the after um, I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any tips for me, any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.